your show, F is for Family, I relate to it because it's about parenting in the 70s, and that's, you know, that was when I was parented like you. What do you think of parents now? How do you compare them to parents in the 70s? Oh, it's just completely, the kids have so much power. It's like ridiculous. Like half of these kids, I'm like, I look and I just have what happened to me. And I'm like looking at a kid and be like, this kid's about ready to get punted across the grocery store. And it just never happens. Right. They just, they just don't get hit. And I think it's hurting You're this mad. country. You're mad, wait a minute. <laughs> Damn. Damn. It's not like- you're mad that children are, are not being uh, this, hit. This should be the threat of it. Half of it, it was just that, look, it was just your dad was acting like he was going to do it. He never did it, but your mother did. And because, <laughs> because she was, no, because she was a woman, it was like, okay. Because yeah. it was like, hey, you, know, you let a girl beat you up, you know, you kind of felt emasculated. Yeah. We had a rule, that, like, I actually, a lot of the stuff that I look at from when I was a kid that actually kind of made sense in a way is now, would now be considered like abuse, I guess. Like when I was a kid, if you didn't finish your supper, as we called it. Supper, yeah. Yeah, my mother was just like, well, you're gonna finish, you're gonna, um, she would just wrap it in cellophane and you just picked up where you left off for breakfast, <laughs> like, like a blue collar job. Like you, you take the shovel out of the hole and just start digging it again. <laughs> so, yeah, I remember one night we had cube steaks which is like one of the toughest pieces of meat. I don't know if you guys, everything's so like Asian infused, Wagyu beef, everybody's eating that crap right. now. But cube steak was like, they had literally had to hit it with a hammer to make it like edible. And uh, so we were having cube steaks and I forget my little brother was still in a high chair and he couldn't finish his. So my mother goes, all right, we're well, just gonna have to eat it for breakfast. And that was like eight hours away, which was like half his life. So he's like, all right, I'll, I'll take that deal. <laughs> so the next morning, we, I remember we were having waffles. My mother always made Sunday breakfast. So we had all these waffles, eggs, bacon, this whole layout. My brother was looking at half-eaten cube steaks and a little mound of green bean casserole. And he goes, so he looked at my mom. He goes, mom, can, can I have a waffle? And she goes, no, you gotta finish your supper. He's like, well, after I finish my waffle, uh, supper, then can I have a waffle? She goes, no, that is your breakfast. And he goes, oh, mom, I hate you. And my dad, without looking up, took a full glass of milk and threw it in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God, this is what kills me. What kills you me. You want everyone today to have as miserable a childhood as no. you had. <laughs> no, but it was kind of funny. I just, we know what's hilarious was my mother just popped up and just immediately started cleaning up and my dad just kept eating. Like he didn't like, <laughs> no, like the roles were defined back then. Now the guy has to throw the milk, he has to clean it up while telling his wife she's brave for just sitting there. Like whatever that is. Can you hear it? Oh, oh, I know. <laughs> Women are so overrated, right? We, we went from- Wait, nine, wait, what? We wait, went, wait, uh, what? We what? went, wait, we went, what? we went from not listening to them to now it's just, it's just, it, you know, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous. Like that believe women, it's like all of them. <laughs> how about, how about 85%, I'll give you 87%, <laughs> all right? But that last 13% that keys your car, lights your shit on fire, and puts a family pet in a, in a pot of stew. <laughs> <laughs> Who put a pet in a pot of stew? <laughs> Glenn Close. Oh, that, Close. Yes, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah, okay, all right. I think I it was a separately say, boiled. You know what I'm, I miss? I miss, yeah, tougher parenting and evidence. Those are the things that I miss from my childhood. Evidence? Yeah. You mean Due people? Due process. Right. Somebody says something happened and then someone else goes, well, I said it happened this way, like the old gumshoe shows, and they had to figure it out. Right. Yeah, that doesn't exist now on, on social media. It's just, right. like, it's just frontier justice. Right. You feel how nervous everybody just got in here? The fact that I just suggested that there should be due process? <laughs> this guy's talking crazy, man. Did he just join ISIS? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is what it is. This, no, what I'm saying. And then the woos that they agreed, but they, were, they didn't agree when it counted. We can add, we'll digitally add woos, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> we have the woo machine. Uh, you are way too angry. 50 is still relatively young. You, are the, you have the anger of, of a 110 year old man. <laughs> <laughs> All these telephones. I, I, I can't argue.